What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to show you how to install mods either manually or through Vortex for Into the Radius 2 early release. With a disclaimer of at the time of this recording this is how you do it. <laughs> it could change any day, any update, but nonetheless let's get right into it. First you're going to want to come here, open up your file explorer, go to your hard drive, program files, steam, steam apps, common, Into the Radius 2. Into the radius 2 again, go to content, packs, and then right here you're going to want to add mods folder to it. This is where you're going to put all your mods at, except some. I'll explain that in a minute. After you've got that download or made, head here to nexusmods.com. I'll link it down below. First, you're going to want to set up yourself a profile if you don't have one already. And once you do that, hit games, all games, type into I guess if I typed it right, into, and it should pop up, into the radius 2, click on it. Once it's loaded up, you can add it up to here to your games list, and I'll show you in a second why you would want to do that. But first, we're going to come here, download some mods that you want. This is the mod I was talking about that is a little different for uh, other mods, uh, like the kill rewards. There's another one, time scale. You'll need this for them too. Kill rewards, I have not gotten to uh, work yet. I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe it's on my end, I don't know. But anyway, go ahead and download the mods you want. And before we leave here, I'll show you why you want to add you know, this game up there besides being quicker to get to the page is if you have Into the Radius selected, you could hit your, your profile picture, my mods, download history, and I'll show you all the downloaded mods that you have. Whether whatever game you have selected, it'll show them. Once you have your mods downloaded, you want to extract them. So I'm just going to do the black fest. So I'm going to extract it here. I'm not going to actually put it in there. Bill, you want to open up the folder and you have black fest. So either you're going to want to cut this or select all of these and cut them. Go into that mods folder you just created and paste them in here. So if you're doing this manually, I suggest cutting the uh, the folder itself and pasting just so it's a little bit nicer in here. As you can see, each mod has three files and after a while this could fill up. All right, for the UE4SS for manual downloading, I found it in Kill Rewards and then they have it right here. You download the link, it should start downloading here in a second. There it is, you just hit start download and it downloads real quick. So yeah, that one downloaded quick because it wasn't actually on the Nexus mods. So what you're gonna wanna do is extract this. So now, go back to the mods. You can backtrack all the way to binaries. Win64, and I'll go ahead and drag that out so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. This DWMAPI DLL, you'll just select it, drag, and move it. Same with the UE4SS, you'll drag that and it'll copy it into there. Now that that part is done, you'll want your mods to put in there. So far, the ones I know of that use it is Kill Rewards and the Time Scale. Kill Rewards. I may have said this already, but uh, I can't get it to work. Time scale, you'll download it. And it'll tell you, it'll show you like a structure, what it should look like in your folders. All right, we got it downloaded. It'll come up as time scale mod. Extract it, time scale mod. You'll just go into the UE4SS, mods, and just select that, drag and drop, and then you're good to go. It'll work. Okay, now that we've got the manual part done. Here comes a, I guess a little bit easier way of doing it. Open up Vortex, come up here to games, search for a game, just start typing in into the radius two, it should pop up. You'll click it and you'll do the things that it wants you to. And then if it's your only mod, it'll automatically, or if it's your only launcher for the mod, the only game that you have, it'll automatically set you up with your mod list. So you're gonna wanna head back here to the Nexus mods, download, this UE4SS for ITR mod. This is the same thing I just showed you to do it manually, but this one will do it for you through uh, Vortex. All right, once you got your stuff downloaded, all you have to do now is, I'll probably start with the UESS or UE4SS, drag and drop it to down at the bottom where it says drop files. It'll install it and automatically enable it for you. Then you can start drag and dropping all your other mods that you want and it should put it in a correct folder. It's the only thing that's different between doing it manual 
and through Vortex for the UE4SS as is that packs folder where you created the mods folder. It adds Lua mods and it puts a few files in there that it needs for the that launcher, not launcher, but whatever that is, that program to run some of the mods. So you'll have your mods folder and your Lua mods. I forgot to mention earlier that if you're manually downloading these mods, it's a good idea to hit the track button up top uh, above the description so that way when you come back to nexus mods you'll get a notification at the bell at the top and uh, i will say that whatever mod has a new update so you can go to it update it all right guys i hope this video helped you guys and it was quick and to the point and if you guys like the video go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one later